Everybody ready? SPLK DuBance wants me to look at. I'm going to do uh, WFC. Another reason for this gap. What's the reason for that gap? Mm, I'd like to see that more, more, maybe under 200. What's the reason for the gap, Dubot? Let's watch Wells Fargo. These banks are going to roll over. I had 100% conviction that this would gap down no matter what the earnings said yesterday. That's why I called the option. It was, I mean, I haven't done that, I don't know, maybe in a year. Could be even longer. I knew this would gap down no matter what it said. So that's why I called the option yesterday. This is a nice call. Like, I had a thousand percent conviction, a million percent conviction, the direction this would be today. All right, let's get moving here. Is this open? It's barely moving. Barely, barely, barely. Strange, strange positioning here for the market. Again, market is heavy. Um, I think I'm gonna be right what I said all along about the market, which is again, you know, it's like, I'm kind of like, wow, because when I looked at Monday, gosh, this data is taking forever to load. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Gonna do exactly what we did yesterday and wait for the setup. So let's do, let's do, stop's gonna be 24.55. Let's do, let's do 25 by 55, 25 by 60, 25 by 60 WFC. Kind of aggressive. And if I change the numbers, I'll let you know. If I change the numbers, I'll let you know. That's still on, 25 by 60. Just wait, 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 wait. I saw Goldman today too, that's not good enough. We'll talk about that later. Um, Just wait. We've got to get something. Yeah, Goldman's selling off. I'm not surprised. Hold on, we have to get something here. 65. Let's do. Let's do BAC 30 by 65. 30 by 65. We gotta get something early here. 30 by 65. BAC, and I'll go back to the WFC. No time to talk here this morning. Too much going on. Here, do it. Do it. Get it in if you want it. Stop at 65. And we'll go over that in a second. Let's see if we're going to do two things here today. Nope, this isn't ready. It's not ready. Let me look at this. This wasn't good enough. This had to be over 220. You tried. It tried. It tried. It tried. It tried. It tried. It almost got there. Then it kaboomed. And now it looks dead, 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 dead. Wow. Good read on these banks for me. Good, good, good. Right here we go. Yay. All right, let me go back and look at this puppy here. 43. Hmm. We could do, we could still do 30 by 65. Crap, 30 by 65, WFC. If you wanna do two things, 30 by 65, let the AC roll over, 30 by 65. Here, you can do it, you can do it. Get in it right now, put the stop in at 65. There, it triggered, WFC. Now let me just see where we're going with this. This has to break 24. It has to keep going down, down, down. And this you could do 
Target, this has got to break 24, and the other one's got to break, and this has to, it's the same number, actually, now that I'm thinking, they both have to break 24. All right. Oh, you know what else I wanted to look at? These things here today. And the other one, just to see if there was any different strikes. No, if you got out of the beat, the if you got out of the Boeing yesterday, fine. I was thinking about doing a different strike. I may, I may, I may change my mind on that later today. Time of the day is what? Uh, this apple had a massive reversal, 100%. 100% reversal yesterday. All right, here we go. Wow, it's earning season. Welcome. Welcome, people. Life is normal again. <laughs> now, if we can just live our lives normally and get rid of masks, if we could just get rid of COVID and masks, be gone, masks. <laughs> if life could just be normal now again, too. If I could walk out the street in the middle of the day in New York and be normal and sing and dance and have no crime, if life could just be normal again. Oh my God, I found the most phenomenal apartment. It is insane. It's completely, completely, completely insane. I found my dream apartment. It's insane. 24-17. Oh my God, Dan, you missed it. We're in BAC and WFC. We're in two things. I mean, you could do them if you want. Keep the internet, lose the masks, yeah. We are in two things. I mean, you could do this here, actually. You could do the WFC, put the stop. I don't think we need to adjust it. You can put it at 60 or 65. This isn't going to back up. If you don't do them now, you're going to miss them, but they're late. All right. Now, this does not move as much as this which we know, which we are aware of. And let me look at this. Oh. Too much going on here. Yesterday should have been the follow through. It, it, it didn't do it. And that would have been pretty much what it needed to do. Here we go. Wells Fargo down to 24 and see if they can break it. What's the target in this today? 2350, 2360, 2350 area would be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful move. And again, like we did two things yesterday, you could get out of one, scalp it, hold the other one, whatever you wanna do. Whatever you wanna do. This was insane yesterday. I thought I had a good exit on this. I did not hold this all day. I kinda wished I had, kinda wished I had. But want another buck plus, what are you gonna do? It's very difficult to get out the low of the day. We actually did, though, in Dow. We actually did have a perfect exit on that. We couldn't have got a better exit on that. So let's see what happens here with this. Let me see what's going on today with Dana. And then I will see. Let it roll over. I don't know. I, I can't find the Great Pumpkin anywhere on demand. And I'm like... I'm like, have people banned now Snoopy? I mean, it's really getting ridiculous. Can't find it. It's not anywhere. I had to order it and buy it. It's like, are you kidding me? They start to ban Snoopy. It's just, this world is nuts. All right, today is Wednesday. 8.38, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock low. And tomorrow, obviously, is the Thursday. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice call on the option. Nice call on the day trade. Nice call on this. I knew, 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 knew that would be down today. This is kind of looking weird. But again, this doesn't have a big move. Twenty-four seventeen. Market trying to hang on to the gains from Monday. It's not doing a good job of it though, to be honest with you. Not doing a good job. Oh, 
Oh, what happened to this? Uh, I thought this was a good trade to yesterday to get out of, but if you're still in it, it looks lower. But the one important thing is to book money. Book it, book it, book it. Yeah, I, I did too. I, I That was like, I mean, a move, boom. Take it, get out. Because some of the other things didn't move and it's it's just good to book money. You can't fail. Oh, you know what I wanted to show you? An invisible tick in Amazon. Here we go in Wells Fargo. A massive invisible tick I saw in Amazon yesterday. I took a picture of it. Took a picture of it. 3,200. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, it was a big one. Here, Wells Fargo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go. 2316, 2350. Go, go, go. 9.40 in the morning. Life feels normal again. Beautiful start to earning season. Perfect. I need to take days off. Every time I go away and come back, I'm perfect. <laughs> Seriously. Um, you could get out of this here if you want, or you can hold it. But you could have shamed some off there. Or you can hold it. <laughs> uh, maybe I will take Veterans Day off. Maybe I'll take a three-day weekend. Go, go, go home and visit. Definitely did me good. So in my professional opinion, with the move in the market on Monday, which was totally, totally unexpected, we really needed to go immediately and follow through, and we did not. So today is the critical day. Could we do a cheese sandwich today? Yeah, we could, but it's gotta go big time. So we're 10 minutes, 11 minutes into the open. We're not big timing anywhere. So we'd have to go big time today to do that cheese sandwich very quickly. And, and then there's a chance we could do it. If we don't do it today, there will be no follow through. Is this tanking? Yes, it is. Not good enough. Not good enough. You could have get out of this or you're in it for one more drop. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So let's see if this can get one more drop. BAC, we won't need to get more traction, but again, that doesn't have big targets normally. But, you know, we want to get through 24. That's what we want to do. Amazon Prime Day isn't really acting, like reacting to anything. Let me see if there's any news. People are boycotting Prime Day? Why? No, I didn't hear that. Where was that? Why? Is there a reason? Why are they boycotting Prime Day? Here we go, BAC. They want Amazon to pay their employees more. Who's they? Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. And then we have Let's see anything here. So what, there were three vaccine trials that got halted for COVID. One was LLY, one was J&J. &J. What was the third company? I wanted to look at that. Did anyone, I heard on the news there was three. What was the other one? Does anyone know, Jackie, do you know? There was three, what was the third company? Does anyone know? And not that we're gonna play them, but I'm just wondering. Just wondering. So there's no more economic data out today of any consequence for the market. This is either going to do it on its own, on its own, or it's not. Because there's no stimulus thing that's going to move this here today. Amazon Prime Day, as far as the chart goes, is a bust. 
Um, Apple iPhone 12 coming out is really a bust to me because this doesn't look like anything at all. Um, so these things are just doing whatever they're doing. Let me look and see what's out tonight. If you're in these things, continue them through. Let's see what's out for tonight. But you really could have just scalped out of both and said, poop. But I think BAC has to get down to 24. I didn't really look at U.S. Bank. Tonight is AA. Tonight is UAL. Oh, well, that'll be interesting. Tomorrow is something. Morgan Stanley's tomorrow. Uh, Walgreens. Schwab. Couple of things. And we got plenty to do tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, nothing really. Let's look at Friday. Friday morning is a couple of banks. Nothing that I'm in love with. So Friday is a question mark. Yesterday was a good day. Today is a good day. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. Friday, I don't know what we're going to do. But we're going to be extra careful. We're still going to be careful. You know, and we did two things yesterday, we're in two things today, which is un, is not normal, but because of the fact that these things are manageable, manageable, not crazy. It's not like we look away and these go hog wild. Here we go. Nice call on WFC. I knew this would get down. I haven't called something. I haven't predicted a gap for pff, a year, maybe two. I was so sure this would gap down. It was a great call. So let's rock and roll here. So the low was 23.87. Here we are again. Let's see if we can break 80, get a flush and out. That's my plan of action with this. And my plan of action with this is to get it down more. So the cheese sandwich must happen today. If it doesn't, it's over. The market will not make new highs before the election. This just feels very heavy to me. So does this. So I will show you that invisible tick when we're done with this. Don't forget tonight I'm doing a little options lecture. If you want to come back 4 o'clock, everyone's welcome. It will not be taped. Only for students or people in the options letter. You're all very special. Eighty-seven was the low. You're welcome. Anyways, one of the things I want to talk about is taking profits, <laughs> aka this. While this still is probably lower, I called it very tight. Take profits. Book the money. I'm calling a lot of trades. Book it, book it, book it. No piggy targets. Yes, it's earnings season. Yes, that's true. But again, the market is very crazy here right now. Looks lower, looks higher, looks lower, looks higher. It depends what time of the day you look at it. So you gotta book money and stuff that's going. And I will be calling things tighter because just, I don't wanna be holding a million things through the weekend during this period of the election, really. Actually, when do we change the clocks? It is so dark here, getting so dark here now. What, when do we change the clocks? Two weeks or three weeks? Is it, the, is, the, is it November? Here, let me look it up. November what? What's the date? Yeah, I know it's November, but is it? When do we change the clocks? Yeah, it's before the election. Sunday, November 1st. All right. But not this weekend, not the next week, and the following weekend. Yes, here we go! Here we go! Wells Fargo! And it's going. And it's going down, and everyone should be in it. Dan, did you do it late? You gotta be here on time. Sam, I saw you sign in late too. You must be here on time to get the calls. 9.30. November 1st, okay. 
Now this is a baby snail. We gotta get out of this once it breaks alone. Just take it. This looks good. Um, I wanna just give this a little teeny weeny 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 bit. This is still lower. Like this isn't going anywhere higher today. So let this guide you. Let this Goldman guide you. Let this kind of guide you with some of those things here. But I mean, look at the dichotomy. You have the spy green. All the banks are red. All of them. Every one of them. And you say, well, that seems impossible. But nothing is impossible anymore. This is lower. All right, this broke the low, but I wanted, I just wanna keep getting it. Two pennies under 80. Let's pay attention here now. Maybe we'll just get out of everything and call it a day soon. 9.50, 9.50. Book the money fast in the day trades. You can give the options a little bit of wiggle room. Who would be buying this here? No one, the idiots. Oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. What was that email you sent me yesterday? Yesterday, Jackie, what was it about? Shoot, Boeing, that's what it was. Jackie sent me an email a couple of days ago, whenever, it was about Boeing. Let's talk about it. You could be out of everything if you want. If you're in everything, we're waiting. It's 9.50. Kramer said it's time to start buying Boeing. It was three days ago. It was, this was the day. It was one of these days in here. We shorted it the very next day. We shorted it the very next day. If you bought it, you were down. We shorted it the very next day. It worked. Now it's rallying today. Again, people are buying in here. It's a bad buy. But anyways, that just goes back to initially what I've been talking about and talking about and talking about and talking about so often. Let me just check these things here. Yeah, I'm still in everything. Is anybody else? Let me just check and see if anything's happening here. I'm going to give these things a little bit more time. 